Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boydson Grove, and today we're gonna make a finger hockey game. Let's get into it. I used some scrap one by material to make the frame. I use my table saw to cut a rabbit in the length of each frame piece. This can also be done after the frame is assembled if you have a router with a rabbit bit. After mitering the corners, I moved on to cutting the base from a one quarter inch piece of plywood. Then I used my crosscut sled to put a dado in the side pieces of the frame for the center piece to slide into. Before assembly, make sure to drill the two holes on each side piece of the frame where the bungee is going to go through. I decided to use a Forstner bit to drill out a recess area for the knot of the bungee to recede into. Even though the glue is plenty strong enough, I decided to put a few brad nails in the base for some added strength. Once the frame was together, I could get an exact measurement for the centerpiece. I cut a large dado in the centerpiece for the goal that the game pieces will go through. I used a one inch dowel for my game pieces and after some trial and error with the table saw, I found the easiest and safest way to cut them was with my bandsaw. To add a little bit of fun to the board, I added some transfers to each side. Christina is Hungarian, so I thought the Hungarian and American flags would be cool. Adding transfers to your project is super simple and all you need is a regular inkjet printer and some label or sticker paper. Start by removing the stickers or labels from your paper and insert the paper into your printer, making sure that the slick side of the paper is what's going to be printed on. Before printing, make sure that your design or picture is reversed from how you want it to appear on your project because we're going to be flipping the paper onto the project. Once it's printed, be very careful not to touch the surface because the paper is slick so the ink doesn't completely adhere to it and it will smear really easily. Carefully position it to where you want it on your project and apply pressure, making sure that the paper doesn't slip. 
Then spray on a couple coats of protective polyurethane and you're good to go. I use some mini bungees that you can pick up at any local hardware store or online. The tricky part is to make sure to get enough tension on them when tying the knot on the end. Fortunately, I found an extra set of hands to help out. All right, our finger hockey game is complete and I'm really happy with the finish on this. We did a coat of flat black and then went over it with two coats of satin polyurethane. Then I sanded it with some 500 grit sandpaper and it is super smooth and has a nice sheen to it. Same with the bottom surface here. The pieces slide nice and easy across it. It came out really nice. These decals, I'm really glad that I decided to put them on. Once I put a couple coats of polyurethane on them, it actually gave them kind of a rustic worn look, which I really like. The only thing that I would do over again is these recesses for the bungees. I didn't drill them quite deep enough, so the bungees protrude just a little bit. If it really bothered me that bad, I could cut the bungees and redrill the holes and put in new bungees. These bungees were super cheap, so it would be no big deal, but I'll probably just leave it the way it is. All in all, this was a quick and easy woodworking project and makes a great fun game for the whole family and friends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have tons of other projects on our channel, so make sure to check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.